वंस अपॉन अ टाइम दे लिव्ड अ जैन मास्टर हुज नेम वॉज कोडो ही वॉज नोन फॉर हिज प्रोफाउंड विजडम कंपैशनेट नेचर एंड इज रिमार्केबल एबिलिटी टू फाइंड पीस इवन इन मोस्ट टर्बुलेंट सरकमस्टांसिस वन डे अ क्यूरियस यंग डिसाइपल अप्रोच कोडो विद अ क्वेश्चन एंड आस्ट मास्टर हाउ कैन वी डिस्कवर इनर पीस एंड स्टिलनेस इन द मिडल्स ऑफ द बसलिंग वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस कोडो स्माइल बॉम्बली एंड रिप्लाइड माई सन द की टू फाइंड स्टिलनेस इज नॉट टू अवॉइड द केयर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बट टू लर्न टू फाइंड पीस विद इन इट कन्फ्यूज द यंग डिसाइपल आस फर्दर But master how can we find peace amidst the chaos in response kodo pointed towards a nearby pond and said do you see that pond just observe the water of this pond when it is undisturbed it perfectly reflects the beauty of the sky and the surrounding trees however when the wind stirs the water the reflections become distorted and unclear then he continued similarly when our mind is disturbed by the chaos of the world our perception of reality becomes distorted but if we can learn to still our mind then we can feel the bliss of self realization in it and we can see the beauty and clarity of the world around us deeply contemplative the young disciple embraced kodo's teachings and started doing daily practice of stillness and mindfulness and within a year he learned the ability to quiet his mind and find peace in the present moment irrespective of external circumstances as the disciple became more calm and more serene his wisdom grew exponentially inspired by kodo's profound teachings he began sharing them with others becoming a source of inspiration for many people years passed and when kodo eventually relocated to a new place the young disciple now accomplished the full of wisdom assumed the role of the new zen master he continued the legacy by imparting the teachings of stillness and mindfulness to his own disciples ensuring that kodo's wisdom would resonate with the new generation if we see in our life then we will find that sometimes we think that we should go some far away from this noisy and hectic world and get peace of mind but we forget that the power of stillness lies not in evading the chaos of the world but in learning to find peace within it for this we have to adopt two things one is stillness of mind and another is mindfulness stillness of mind means keeping your mind free of thoughts and focused on breathe during meditation to still your mind first you need to keep your body still during meditation the more you will keep your body still during meditation the more your mind will also become still therefore whenever you sit to meditate try to keep your body still and keep your attention on your breathe second thing is mindfulness mindfulness means to be fully present aware of what we are doing becoming aware of our thoughts feelings bodily sensations and surrounding environment mindfulness means to become non judgmental about your thoughts during meditation and just watch your thoughts like a spectator when we start to watch our mind then our thoughts start to subside and our mind starts to calm down thus through the practice of mindfulness and cultivation of inner stillness we can discover clarity and wisdom even in the face of life's most challenging circumstances moreover as we embody this tranquility we still have the potential to inspire others and guide them towards their own inner peace so let us remember that amidst the chaotic dance of life it is within ourselves that we can find the calm scent the well spring of peace and tranquility therefore embrace the practice of stillness let mindfulness guide your steps and become a beacon of peace in a world yearning for it thanks for watching
Stay blessed.